Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this angular video tutorial, we will learn about the component. As in theoretical part, we will see what is the component. Then we will move on a practical part and see how we can make a component. Uh, we will see the file inside the component and how we can use it with an example. All right. All right. So first question is that what is the component basically? So component is basically a piece of code that basically represent a single task for example we can uh, make a header component we can make a footer component we can make a search bar component sidebar component all right for example here you can see that this is a nice nice representation like component a will represent the sidebar component c will represent the uh, footer part and component b will represent the main part one more thing uh, similar to the function as we must just make a function and we can reuse it again and again component also reusable we can reuse as much as we want all right so now let's see that how we can make a component so let's move on the command line and just write here so first of all let's see the files you will find the component basically in a app folder all right when i'm just going to create it so let's run the command ng g component and component name so let's say i'm just going to make the component with the name of users and let's hit it now you can see that there is four file are generated and you can see that the user users component is created here the four files are there so let's see the what file uh, the work of every file first the most important file is users.component.ts so this file will actually bind the old files here you can see that this is the selector this is the html file this is the css file and all all right so when we just want to use this component then we will use this name and we will see just after some moment all right so in this file we will just we can call the apis we can perform any logical work in the javascript we never write here html we just write only javascript all right after the second most important file is users.component.html here we will write our complete html part like we just want to define any kind of ui representation like headers or slideshows images tags links everything that, that we actually want right and after that a css file will use for writing the css cascading style sheet and spec.ts file is basically used for writing the test cases so at the beginner level you may need the uh, .component.ts file html file and the css file but spec.ts file is not much useful at the beginner level all right so now let's see how we can uh, use this component as i told you that when you just want to use this component we have to use this selector all right so just copy this name and uh, for show you that this uh, how we can just import it in add any other component and how we can use it let's go on the app.component.html and just simply write here like this all right and now let's see what actually you got output now you can see this user is works so now if i'm just going to write inside this html page like uh, i'm just going to put here h2 tag uh, hello from um uh, users component all right and now you can see that we are getting the same output from here and how we can reuse it so this component is made now this is a separate unit and you can use it in any component so let's uh, i don't have any other component for now that's why i'm just going to copy and paste it here only right and now you can see that this component is rendered four times so this is the way that how you can uh, reuse it all right so we complete the all part of this component in the upcoming videos we will see that how we can pass the data to one component to another component and much more things how we can make the parent component child component sibling components and all so don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, if you have any kind of suggestion if you have any review for me please make it inside the comment thanks for watching this video bye bye take care